So this is a general overview of Marine Fortress the level. This is going to be a different, difficult one for me to explain, so please bear with me. Um, this is my favorite level in the game and has been for a long time. You're going to want to go on hard mode and you're going to want to use uh, M Jetter with the uh, settings specified in my recommended course and driver settings video near the start of this playlist. Three, two, one, so you pretty much need to get max power here. If you want to go over this wall, you pretty much need to have max power. You can do it without it, but it's much more difficult. So you're going to want to re reset on max power no matter what skill level you're at on this course. When you get max power, you're going to turn right. And this right adjustment is almost parallel to the wall beside you, but it's a little bit r more right of that. We're aiming so that we can set up our turn around the corner after the barrier break and we're not going to change our angle until we make that corner. So that was a large, Three, two, one. a very tall jump. You can jump over this wall, ideally closer to what I just did. Three. But you can do it just by holding down as you're going up that way. Three, two, one, go. You're going to want to refrain from tapping B all the time here. Three, two, one, In fact, not tapping it at all to start will often give you a good setup. This upcoming turn here is very difficult and it affects the entire next portion and the very start of this one is extremely important to have somewhat consistent if you want to complete it with like a top 10 time which isn't that hard right now. Three, two, one. So after this sharp turn Go over, make a sharp turn, and then you want to be somewhat close to this yellow buoy on the right so that you have space to turn left and line up the next section so you're not turning in the section. It has very large waves in the next section and trying to turn on large, wa large waves and, and make your direction is very suboptimal in terms of time. If you can line up before any waves in the game especially big waves and just go through them without um, turning at all that's going to be your optimal movement and it's going to be optimal to spend more time adjusting it before the waves than during. So coming out of here you go left and you go right down the center of this. You should be about where I am or a little bit right maybe if you're in that zone then you can miss all of the obstacles and start making your right turn I'm gonna be covering the dive in this video this dive is gonna be uh, difficult to show while I'm talking And it's going to require that I get a reasonable start on the course. This course is all based on a wave cycle because you have to get underneath that wall. And a wave, I'm probably too late. Unless I really clean this stuff. So I got there too late, and I didn't even have a chance to dive under the wall Three, because of it. Two, one. If I get the dot and the jump, and then a tight corner, get a setup, reasonably tight setup through here, and go right, 
I can get this wave and do a dive input. Um, that's really not the most difficult part of this course, in my opinion. Um, the most difficult part comes after you dive. The part that I've had the most difficulty with. I could dive almost right away. And if you're having problems diving on this course, um, check out my dive tutorial. It's gonna uh, help you get set up for this one. You're gonna wanna go right, and you're gonna wanna be almost hitting this left wall as you're going down the. corridor here. You're gonna want to come out of the dive as close to parallel to this wall as you can and about here. If you turn in too close to the wall like that, you'll collide with it and then screw up your turn. And you won't be able to turn out with much efficiency and you'll lose about 4 seconds. So you're gonna to want to come in, turn right here without going into the wall like that. And when you do that successfully, you'll get lined up for that. And when you get lined up for that right turn like that, you save a lot of seconds just making this turn and not, uh, a lot of the times trying to turn left here you would be on a wave cycle where you do that and then you slam into that wall, this wall, and you get slammed off of your cover craft and then you'll try and get around and then try and go and then you've already lost like 10 seconds or 7 seconds. This is the reason why this level is so under optimized is people have a very difficult time with the dive and then right after the dive they get this corner and they don't nail it like that. If you nail it like that, every time, it's gonna be great. Like, that is not something you have to deal with in the dive on the second and third laps because the gate opens up on the second and third laps, but the routing is almost the same, except for that the waves will be on a cycle, so it depends on how fast or slow you're going through the level. This first section here is what you need to get down, up to the dive. If you can get that down very well, then you can kind of slop out the rest of the ride. I'm just doing a shallow dive there because on this wave cycle that I want to show, um, it's very easy to get that wave cycle because it's kind of slow and every time if you're there at the right time that shallow dive will work if you're trying to go for a faster time you're gonna need a long dive as mentioned in the video if you're a better player and you just are trying to learn this course I'd suggest trying to go for the long dive after you learn how to go, like after you get about 111. That'll get you down to 110. You almost had it. And even there with some mistakes, I'm still looking at like a almost a top 10 time. Um, if you guys have any more questions for this course, I know it's a difficult one for many people. I didn't have difficulties with it, but I've had difficulties with a lot more of the straightforward courses. So let me know in the comment section. I'll try and get to you whenever, uh, whatever I can, all the information that I have so far. And if I can't find anything, I will uh, ask ChibiPod uh, from the Wave Race community to see if he can give me any more uh, advice or knowledge. Thank you guys for watching and take care.